Um, but back to the topic, <laughs> which is green flags. Um, we'll start with Sam because ladies first. What's a sign that a woman should know that this might be a dude who she could be really serious about, or this might be a really good guy for her to talk to? I think, well, first of all, we just, I know we've said this on previous podcasts, but ladies, take time to get to know yourself, get to know what you want and what you're looking for in a dude. Don't go into anything serious without truly knowing who you are. That's first, because you'll accept anything if you don't know what you're like specifically who you are and what you like what you can deal with what you can't deal with whether you want to be alone whether you need to live with somebody whether you can live with somebody like you need to figure those things out first um but i think the a big thing that you should pay attention to if you're thinking about seriously dating a guy is whether or not he knows what he wants like if he knows if he has a dream or like if he knows what his purpose is or, you know, there's a plan in place. Because if we're being honest, most women will run around pretending like they don't want a man or they don't need a man or, you know, they can do it all by themselves. Not, there's nothing wrong with being independent. No one's saying that. But eventually, you're going to be in your big loft that you afforded for yourself. Congratulations. Yes, it's all of that. You, you're going to be in that and you're going to be alone. And you're not going to want to be alone. You're going to want somebody to give you intimacy and cuddle up with you and all that stuff like that. So you're going to want a man. And when you get one, pay attention to whether or not he has a dream, he has a purpose, he has a plan. He knows what he wants and he's going to do whatever it takes to get there. Whether you're there or not. Like, that's important too. Not one of those situations where you get into the situation and he it seems like he has a plan and a purpose and he knows what he wants. And you think it because he's, ta- he's telling you but he hasn't done anything to fucking show you. <laughs> And you, you're like, oh, well, you know, he talks, he says this and he says that. He might say, oh, I have a dream of being an artist and um, I every weekend I um, go to this place and I paint and I freelance and I get paintings away for free just so people can see my art, blah, blah, blah. You know, he might say all of that stuff, but if you ain't, you ain't seen no paint nowhere. <laughs> A he, purpose bump. A purpose, yeah. Like, That's what we call them, purpose bump. Yeah, bumps. like you don't see There's no overalls with no paint on them. or it's A no man with a purpose canvas. and a purpose bum. A man with a purpose might have a big dream, but he's working his way to that big dream. Right. I repeat, he's working his way to that big dream. Every now and then he may take a shot and fuck up. But once he realizes he fuck up, he's going to go and work to put himself back. And then he's going to attack that big dream again. A purpose bum comes up with something that sounds really good to say to the ladies. Like Sam said, I, I'm an artist and I paint these beautiful pictures and I give them away for free. Okay, that's fine, but when are you bringing money back? Right. Do you have a job? Right. Or do you just sit in the house, play the game, paint, and then get the paintings away for free? You don't even sell them. At a certain point, it's like, come on, dog. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's a purpose bump. That's how you know the difference, ladies. I know some dudes gonna be listening like, man, why are you telling them that? Because that's what we do. <laughs> that's we what keep we do. it real we keep here. Keep it real on all sides. A, a man who's really about his purpose is going to work his way to his purpose until his purpose can afford to just be it. And he's gonna monetize that purpose. It's not gonna be giving shit away for free. He might give stuff away for free to make something to show. But he's not, that's not the plan. The plan is to give stuff away for free. There's an actual business plan. There's a plan to eventually make money. Mm-hmm. That's the goal. That's the dude you want to rock with. The dude who's busting his ass working 40 hours and then trying to give the next 40 that he has when he's not sleeping or having fun to his business. That's the man you want. Not the dude who's in a band and they play for free at the bars on weekends and that's literally all this man does. It's that one show every weekend that he doesn't get paid for. Talking about something, I have a dream to be a rock star. And you're like, okay, I'm going to support you. No, you're going to waste your time. Yes. Because you're going to get upset. tired of taking care of that man. Yes, I you promise are. you, you are. And some of y'all don't want to give give a man anything from the jump anyway. You don't want to spend your money on him. So you got to pay attention to that type of shit or else you're going to be spending your money on him all the mm-hmm. time. You're going to be paying for every fucking thing. And then if you come in with that old, you know... I'm a strong, independent black woman or whatever kind of woman or, you know, I'm, I done broke the glass ceiling and I don't need no man. And that you come in like that, you gonna, um, a, a purpose bum might just fall right in your lap because just you comfortable with paying for everything and you letting them know that yeah, you I mean, acting like that. Like you can't get mad if a nigga expect for you to take care of them. Yeah, I mean, I kind of said that in the last one, but, um. 
going back to that, there's a specific name for that as well. Because if you're the type of woman you want to do your own thing, like Sam was just saying, you want to make your own money and stuff like that, you can do that, but you're only really going to get a purpose, bro. Yeah. Because you're not even going to get a beta male provider, which is the beta male who's really only a step or two away from being alpha. He just lacks confidence. You're going below him. You're going to get a beta bitch. A purpose bum falls into the beta bitch category because he doesn't want to work. That's what it comes back to. He's telling you he has a dream and he, maybe he does, but he doesn't want to work. A man who doesn't want to work is fucking worthless. It's worthless. I was People say can say that that's uses, sexist. All they want true. to want that's sexist. No. Nah. A man who does not want to it's work useless. is worthless. That's useless What's your point? Like, what are What's you your here point? for? Because chances doing? are you're not cooking. Chances are you're not cleaning. And even if you are doing those two things, if you're a real man, you're not going to want to. Because not just like long. we talk about women not wanting to take care of a man, you're not going to want to do the house duties and shit for long. Not, you're going to want to work if you're a real dude. You're on something. That's just how you're wired. Why aren't you working? Who the fuck wants a man that don't work hard? You're <laughs> supposed to be the hardest worker. Even if I make more money than you, it's supposed to be because maybe I have a more valuable trade. Not because I work harder than you. You should be working harder than me. That's just the reality of the situation. So if your girl work hard, you're supposed to work twice as hard, nigga. That's how it's supposed to work. You don't work less because she works hard. But like I said, when you take on that mentality, you can only really attract a purpose bump or a beta bitch. You're not going to even get a beta male provider because his... His... Self-worth comes in his job, his ability to give you money, because he doesn't have the charisma. People don't want to follow him. He's not a leader. People don't, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't give off all that extra stuff that comes with it. You don't even barely want to follow him. You know what I'm saying? But he's a cool dude, and he, you know, he'll take, he care, take, you. He take care of you. So he's not yeah. a bad dude. That's why I always say he's not a bad dude. He just doesn't got that confidence, that frame, that leadership, that swag. You know what I'm saying? That you probably not buff. You know what I'm saying? He's just missing little shit. It's not a big deal, though. You can work with him. You ain't even going to get him because, like I said, his self-worth comes from I can take care of you. That That's my way of showing you I'm a man. You took that away from him because you won't stop fucking working and competing with him and trying to pay as much as he does. So you making an already insecure dude feel more insecure. Y'all ain't going to work either. You're literally only going to be able to date beta bitches. That's it. You'll have to understand that. If you're okay with that, that's okay. go for it. But yeah. if you're not, then you need to switch it up. Like, that, that's just being honest. Um, for the fellas, um, something you can look for. Um, accountability is a big one. I'm not going to get too into it because I talked about that in the last one. So I'm going to run past that and go into the next one. If you don't know why it's a big thing, just go back to the last episode. Another big thing y'all need to pay attention to, makeup. I never paid this any attention until Sam actually said it to me. But a woman who wears makeup all the time or feels like she needs to wear makeup all the time she's going to eventually not like how she looks when she doesn't have it on because she gets so used to seeing herself with it and on. So eventually when she wakes up, she's going to go crazy. She's going to start putting on makeup for everything, everywhere she goes, everything she does. She's like, she's going to become the type of person who won't even go to the corner store if her makeup's not on. It's like, yo, we're going to the corner store. Like, who cares? Nope, she got to be glammed up, dressed up all the time because that becomes her whole persona. Like, on her Instagram or her Facebook or whatever, she's always glammed up in makeup, dressed up. She can't go nowhere regular. Yeah. Because she built herself up to be that. She can't take her makeup off because people are going to say, oh, you don't look like you look. Mm -hmm. She don't want to hear that. So she has to be dressed up everywhere. For whatever reason, she don't feel like getting dressed up. She stays her ass in the house. Like, she, she won't even, like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that type of girl. Because you're going to have a hard time... Getting her to come out of that. She's been like that for a very, very, very long time. You want the type of girl who rarely wears makeup. And when she does wear makeup, she wears enough to just assinuate her own natural features. She doesn't like cake on a whole entire face. Because she's okay with herself. So when you just want to go outside in nature, uh, I don't know, you know, a trail. She's not worried about her makeup sweating off or all that other bullshit. She's just about to go out there with her little... You know, hair tied up, whatever the case may be, and walk the damn trail with you. Or get on the bike. Or if you want to just go to the corner store real quick or the bodega for some breakfast sandwiches, she not going to feel like she got to get a whole outfit on. She's going to roll out of the bed and her sweatpants or whatever with her hair in the back. And they're all going to walk y'all ass to the bodega and get some breakfast sandwiches. It doesn't have to be a show all the time. And eventually you're going to get tired of that show. Because, again, she ain't going to want you to see her when she's not like that. So you might just be on a late night tip. You might want to FaceTime. She's not picking that up if her shit not done. She's not picking it up. That's it. She ain't picking it up. Let's say, let's say you go through some... You have a crazy day at work, so you didn't tell her you was coming through, but you want to come through. Mm. You just want some company. You know how that go. Yeah. I just had a crazy day. I need to see you today. I'm, I'm coming over. Shit. 
You can't come over today. I didn't get my hair done. I don't got no makeup. I'm uh uh-uh. uh. You can't come here. I can't come there. Yo, I had a bad day. I don't care about none of that shit. Mm-hmm. You think she cares? She don't care about that. You yeah. can't come over here. I don't want you to see me like this. Because the problem ain't you, it's her. Take the girl who already loves herself. That's a green flag. That's a good sign. She's pretty. She's comfortable without makeup. When she does wear it, she wears it because she wants to or to insinuate what she already has, but she does not have to wear it all the time. I think it shows the most confidence a girl going on the first date and she don't got no makeup on. I love that shit because you coming as you are already. Now the second date you put the makeup on just to let you know you can turn it up a notch if you need to. You get what I'm saying? That's how you set him up. He already think you fine because you got a second date. Now you put the makeup on. He's like, oh shit, you really fine. That's how you're supposed to do it, ladies. But you always put your regular foot forward first. You set a realistic expectation. You come with all that makeup on. Yeah, you like a bad bitch, but you don't look like yourself. Now you have to do that the next time, and the next time, and the next time, because deep down you're always scared of what's going to happen if he just sees me how I am. How are you going to have a successful relationship with somebody who can't see you how you are? <laughs> it ain't going to work. So that's my first green flag. A woman who doesn't wear makeup a lot. Sam, what's your next green flag for the ladies, like as far as the dude? I, I know I've, I've said this before on previous episodes too, but like I think women really should pay attention to the man who works hard. Like I know that that sounds cliche, and it seems like it's like it's something that you should always pay attention to, but bitches really don't be paying. Oh yeah, and I said this in a prior episode as well, so I'm gonna segue it quickly into another green flag. But a good green flag is a woman with hobbies, man, and other interests. Like a woman who has something else to do besides go to work, come home, and chase validation. Like a woman who I don't be on social media all day because I be writing books or I be knitting sweaters or I'm into cooking so I be cooking all the time or I work out so I be at the gym. It doesn't matter what it is that she's doing is what I'm trying to get you guys to realize here. But a woman who has some type of hobby, reading books, whatever, because what happens is the women who they just go to work and then they come home and it's social media or reality TV, they get warped into the fakeness. They get warped into that fake fantasy based on reality where people are playing a role and entertaining which you think is real because it seems real and they get morphed into that and they start to drag social media reality tv shit into the real world and it doesn't work in the real world like that and so a woman with hobby doesn't get caught up in that shit because she got other shit she got going on other shit to do she got like i said she got tennis practice or she might be in a sorority or something, so she got her own means to keep up with a book club. Like I said, the gym, a cooking hobby, and she cleans up a lot. Whatever the hell it is, it doesn't matter what the hell it is. She has a side business. It doesn't matter. As long as she has another hobby, it's good because that's time she can fill her brain with other things besides worrying about what the fuck you doing. <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you, a woman with no hobbies, when you're not around, she's worried about what you're doing and who you with. She doesn't understand being busy because she's not busy. A woman who has other shit to do besides just go to work. Even if it's just a kid. Sometimes kids are occupied. I'm just being a mom. So they so focused on being a mom, they can't worry about what the fuck you're supposed to Mike baby be doing. But you don't want to date a shit bitch who's single with no kids and no hobby. Because she has too much time on her hands. And like I said, that means she's probably used to filling that time with guys. In some way, shape, or form. You have a validation or a boyfriend. So if you're not going to be available, other guys are going to fill that time. That's why it's a green flag for a woman who has a bunch of hobbies. Um, another good thing to look out for is a woman who, this is all, this is basically femininity in general is a green flag. Anything that goes into, everything that just goes into that essence. So a natural caretaking personality, just naturally wanting to help take care of something when it goes bad or when someone's hurting or when they're in pain. Green flag. Um, if she can chef it up in the kitchen, green flag. If she's real tidy and she's real neat and she don't like shit out of place. Green flag. It's going to be annoying at sometimes. I'm not going to lie to you, fellas. But you're going to appreciate it later because you not doing it and her doing it. It's going to be a lot easier when you need your birth certificate. You actually know where the hell it is. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take you half of a day to find it because you know oh, I put it in there. He's like, when did you do that? It doesn't matter. Here. <laughs> you know where it is now. Um, she keeps her hair done. She keeps her nails done. You know, she wears a bunch of dresses. She has a bunch of heels. Because here's the thing. Dudes like versatility, so don't get me wrong, ladies. It's nice when you can switch it up and throw on some sneakers, you know what I'm saying, and a flannel or whatever the case may be. But every man's going to want you to have some high heels, not no kitten heels, some high heels and a skin-tight dress and some makeup with your nails done so you can show you off. Every man's going to want to play that trophy game. You're not going to get around that. So you got to be able to switch up into that as well. 
that's a green flag, a woman who can do that, a woman who already naturally is just into that and can do that. Those are signs that this is a woman who is okay with being a woman. She likes what goes along with being a woman, the natural nature of it. If she has some tendencies on the other side, that's fine, but she's generally about being a real woman. Just like we were talking earlier about masculinity and hard working and stuff like that as being the green flag, it's a green flag in the vice versa sense. Um, Sam, what else you got? 